Okay. What is y'all's opinion on Hook? I oh, love that uh, movie. That movie I, gets I, way I, too much fucking hate. Yeah. I think it is a movie that I had to come around to because the first time I saw it, I was like, this is not very good. And then, like, I thought about it more. I'm like, maybe this is pretty good. And now I'm at the point where I'm like, yeah, this movie fucking rules. Mm -hmm. I love Hook, man. I've always loved Hook. I like the guy who played as Captain Hook. He was Dustin really Hoffman? great playing as a Yeah, yeah he did a great Dustin job. Yeah. I love so the you fact really that got... when... I still think it's hilarious in the one scene where Rufio gets stabbed, and he's like, Hook, no! And they turn on the air machine. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, my brother might make fun of that so much. All of a sudden, he just goes, no! no! And the, like, his clothes <laughs> <laughs> But like that movie, that movie took me a while to come around to, just because yeah. like I didn't understand, you know, the the context of it, or you know anything. And I was like, eh, it's a good like, it's a good you know Peter Pan movie. And now that I'm older, I'm like, wow, you know, this movie's fucking beautiful. Zuckerman, oh, yeah. you are so right about the Hook review, uh, the rating on Rotten Tomatoes. That's like a 22% last time I checked. I'm like, what the fuck? Two? Yeah, 20. like dude, that shit is lower than Chicken Little. Why? <laughs> That's it sad. Is, it is 29. Yeah, I mean, you got Dustin Hoffman, who was great, and people really got hooked on him. Oh my oh, fucking god, dude, to shut punch up. Punch you in the throat. <laughs> well, that could cause pain and stuff. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you deserve it for this. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's, it's, it's a combination. That was yes! a combination. Oh my god, of... did I get the 70? Did I get the 70? Did I get the 70? Please, yes! Please, please. Oh, snap, you did it. Fucking nice. Yes, man. you did it. You're the best around. You did it. I just want to say uh, for the record that in the chat, if you are going to offer feedback and help me assist with the game and such, that's fine and everything. Just just don't be rude about it. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, my God. I love what Plague said. Oh, I hate Chicken Little. That movie could fuck us. No, dude. I could go on a tirade on how much I oh my fucking God. despise Can that. Can we not go on a tirade about it? <laughs> Please, no. I, yeah, I that would be the right love. Stream. Remember, I love when Disney was doing its tweets, and it's like, yeah. good fathers are hard to find. It shows Chicken Little with his fathers. Like, you chose the absolute worst father to pick. Yeah, oh, I was just like, what the fuck are you smoking, up. dude? Fucking Mufasa, anybody? Good lord. Uh, so I agree. I'm looking at the Hook Rotten Tomatoes right now, and... I do have to kind of agree with the general consensus because this was at the, this was at the time because they don't really judge based on re reviews. It's just what the opinion was when it was first released, and their consensus is basically uh, the look of Hook is lively indeed, but uh, Steven Spielberg directs on autopilot here, giving in too quickly to his sentimental syrupy qualities. And yeah, it is kind of like Steven Spielberg just decided. Yeah, people think I'm an emotional director, so I'm just gonna go all the fucking way with it. But like, that's kind of what I love about it. Eh, I I, I, can't, I see both angles on this. On unfortunately, like. Oh, yeah. Zuckerman! Holy shit! Yes. Who hasn't seen that movie? That movie fucking I'm rules. With you. It rules exactly. a lot. Yeah. Okay. It uh, is so underwhelmingly underrated. Yeah, it, it, it's very underrated. All right. Okay, this one I Let's get. Let's do it I, east. I can kind of get the feel for this one. All right. Uh, all right. Let's slow and down. And I think a bit. when you, uh, and I think when you're supposed to land, you're just supposed to land. I don't think they have a specific spot. No, they do have a specific like spot. Yeah, you gotta let uh, go in the box. All right. Uh, I want to talk about um, fucking Godzilla versus Kong. Oh, holy shit! I'm ready for it. Give I'm me actually... this shit. We're finally getting a trailer on Sunday. I'm like literally every te te teaser spot that they've been putting out before the trailer on Looks Sunday. Good. I'm just like, I'm just like, fuck yeah! All I want right now is giant monsters beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> Holy fuck! This is my movie right now. Oh, yes. Not to mention, there's all right. Been a... Let me see if I can land on the raft this time. Whoa, I wonder, no, no, no. 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 <laughs> I landed too soon. Fuck, Andy, I was gonna bro. try to keep myself stable. Damn it. 
I wonder which Don't movie the version they're gonna play with that movie because there's one where Godzilla swims off and there's one where Godzilla just beats Kong into the ground. I don't care. <laughs> like this is, it's kind of like, okay, so this is gonna be probably my comfort movie for a while just because it's like, fuck it, no story, no plot, just have monsters beating the shit out of each other and I'm gonna be ha happy about it. Like. After this movie, the one I'm looking for, the movie that I'm the most looking forward to is Fast and the Furious 9. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm more just about ready those for movies shit they're gonna make. Stupid. Jesus. Uh, they said they're gonna try to go to 10. Like, that they're gonna go to 10. Like, Fast and the Furious is genuinely one of my favorite franchises. Like, I'm not saying that I do have a giant video essay that I wanna write about Fast and Furious and why these movies fucking rule. Um, but I do. <laughs> and, and, like, every time that somebody's, like, like, there was a rumor earlier this, earlier, late last year, where they were, like, yeah, you know, oh, Fast and Furious oh, 9 oh, might oh, be going oh, to space, oh, oh. and I'm, like, yeah, yeah. BB, I got all the rings this time. Hell all right, yeah. I gotta land. Yep. I don't bury yourself into the ground again. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't yeah, right? I, got all, I got all the rings again. Okay. You got all the I, rings, you... <laughs> yeah, you, hey, yeah, you yeah. got all the rings you're doing better than Superman. Oof. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. You're on, you're on. Ah, does it count? Does that count? I, I think I does landed too fast. Hang on, hang on. Oh, wait, this still smiling. I got 80 points, but you know what? I'll take it. She's still smiling. <laughs> Lady's yeah. happy, so, you know, we're, we're okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> golden, golden did with Superman. As long as not. the woman's happy, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. When the right. woman isn't happy, you're in trouble. Uh, here's That's the general the consensus. Gonna be great. Didn't we have like a giant discussion about? Was that on the podcast or on a stream? We talked about Space Jam Two. I like, would wait. Honest, what? I would. I'm still waiting until there's like a legit trailer, and then I'm gonna fucking gush about the trailer in the podcast next time. Um. Oh yeah. When that trailer comes out, like <laughs> we're I'm fucking... kind of annoyed that. The Okay, Golden Fox, I don't know if I'm going to be on the next podcast, uh -huh. but uh, the one next week, we got to fucking talk about Godzilla vs. Kong, because otherwise I'm going to lose my mind. All right. We got to talk about we'll it. We'll do that. And you know what? This will create a good opportunity for me to create, because um, at some point, I plan to do a marathon of t uh, catching up on Hell of a Boss, because I didn't have the yeah. chance. Yeah, I like I missed a oh. really bad chance of taking on all the hell of a boss episodes and i know that there's gonna be like another one coming up so it's like we'll might as well talk about the three of them because i'm pretty sure we have a lot to say on each individual one like the pilot and shit god damn it come on get up get up get up get up, get up. whoa damn he almost ate it dude okay yeah the i'm if i get a chance i'm gonna try joining for that podcast because i've watched all three of those Constantly, so I'm definitely can right. definitely get my yeah. Idea no, there's on something it. like something special for each of them, and that's like obviously I I like the great. second one, and by that I mean like the the Lululand one. It tries to tug at your heartstrings, and eh, it kind of did its job. It's still weird that I'm like trying to have feelings for the uh, that that one creature. <laughs> I love oh, that yeah. like near the end he fucking like there was like another uh, criminal coming after him, and he just turns and tur like. Turns his ass to stone. Like, fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I tried to land in the center. Whatever. At least I didn't so I hit the added, water. I love how Hell of a Boss is just... I love how Hell of a Boss is basically just the office on acid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's so, it's Hell of a Boss on steroids. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I just added the, uh, on the trailer thoughts part of the podcast, uh, document, I just wrote, fucking Godzilla versus Kong. Because, <laughs> fucking Godzilla versus Kong, man. All right. Well, um, I'll set that for next week. Let's see. You're going to do a live reaction of Hell of a Bo No, we're, we're going to, uh, we're, uh, topically going to talk about each individual episode. It's going to be a marathon of talking about all of them. Is it going to be this week's yeah. podcast or next week's podcast? Um... I want to set it to a week afterwards, so that way we can focus on the, the, the Godzilla versus, uh, uh... Okay, so it'll be like, whatever is the p topics this week, then next week, fucking Godzilla versus Kong, um, and then Hell of a Boss. It's, yeah, there we go. I'll, I'll label down the dates for that uh, in the near future. Alright, moment of truth.
Can I actually do the well? Can we do, do this? 60 points. If you get 69 points, I will cheer so fucking hard for you. You're going like, to lose you your don't... fucking voice, man. Absolutely. <laughs> My voice is already kind of shot right now. So, you know, I just want you to get 69 points so badly. You need 60 to qualify. Okay. But if you get 69... Next 300 I'm just saying. <laughs> Like 70, great, you know, good job for you, but 69 is the funniest shit. Two, four, six, great. I just ruined everybody's mood now. Okay, I gotta take it easy, take it easy. Oh, 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 No, no, holy shit. Okay, okay. No, 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 come on. Come on, you got this. Oh. Come on, you got oh this. God, oh, dude. It's a touchdown. touchdown. Wait. The same no. from the Super Bowl. No. Oh, oh, God. Dude. You've got to be kidding me. You it were was close. 15 points off. Oh, Can we play Mario? Go fish. Now. Mm, that's a bad miss. I was up at 16! Oh, oh my god, Us. dude. That is. Oh. That's a fuck you. Sorry. This game is hard. Your voice is cracking. Are you going through puberty again? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Going on puberty at the age of 30. That's. Oof. Okay. By the way. Oh my god. Okay. I've barely gotten through the sandwich. I just rest in peace, Golden Fox. Okay. I'm gonna go get myself another beer. That Bro. sucks. Don't overdo it. Alright. Yeah, everybody's like so close. Everyone's so close. So like close. And yet so far. And in the end it doesn't even matter. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Galaxy, I think you I think there's a there's some art inspiration for you right there. Robin singing that um, song. Dude, oh God. I, I'm just saying that the Daredevil soundtrack, not the like really good Netflix show, but like the 2003 movie, that's the that's the pinnacle of music. I'm just gonna say, okay. What Listen, what pinnacle? Like, how how pinnacle are we talking here? Um, it has it has two songs by Evanescence on it. Oh my god! Yeah, it, I'm just saying, music peaked at, at the release of uh, A Simple Plan's What's Your Scooby Doo. Like <laughs> that's it. That's the end. Yes. Like yes. Music. We're done. Kendrick here. would We've never. Peaked. All right. Kendrick let's try this never. again. <laughs> Here All we right, go let's again. go again, baby. Yeah, let's do oh, skydiving once more. Here let's we hope go again. I, yeah, oh, skydiving. I'm starting to get it somewhat again. of a feel up, but I know that I'm gonna like. I'm. I don't want to be too cocky over it. So, once more with feeling. Great kid, don't get cocky. Go for the rocket bone. Uh, oh. I. I'm sorry. I already went for the uh, the skydiving one. <laughs> okay. A little more this way, and a little more that way. Little, little, little bit to oh, the right. shit. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, wait. There we oh, go. Oh, hell yeah. This fucking soundtrack had Nickelback on it. God, yes. Yes! <laughs> I love Nickelback. <laughs> I'm just saying, the Daredevil soundtrack had the best, had the it's, it, I'm sorry, every other movie ever released. Hey, 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 you know who had the best? You know who had the best soundtrack? Whoa. Um, Shrek 2. Okay, oh, Shrek 2 is a, a very close second, but it's that same, like, oh, early 2000s music. No. Like, early 2000s music is peak. Okay. No, you know who had the best soundtrack? What? Hmm. Who? Digimon the movie. Oh, okay, that's also pretty good. <laughs> no, Any you know what? No, I'm, has... I'm gonna say right now, best soundtrack, Top Gun. 
Okay, yeah. Like that's a real one. What about the yeah. what about the soundtrack to Forrest Gump? Fuck Forrest Gump. Listen, I'd also like to put into contention the music Ooh. from and inspired by Spider-Man because it has uh, "Hero" by Nickelback. <laughs> and they say that a hero they... can save us. Who just? Oh, stole what this. happened to Robin? We lost Robin. We lost Robin. Oh, oh no! No! We lost him. Bitch. Come on. Yeah, he's, okay. he's dead, Jim. Uh. Shit. We're gonna need Golden to be, or we're gonna need Robin to be. Why? Why were you kicked out? What the fuck happened? We, you, he's still kicked out. We, we gotta drag him back into the call. Okay. And it seems like there's nobody there who's a um... mod. No. Damn. Nope. Come on, land on the. Oh no! Nope. Fuck! Damn it! Oh, Nelly. I was gonna try to land on the raft. Damn it! Oh, nice. dude. Like, yeah, I fucked that one up so bad. All right. There we go. There's Robin. All right, hey, toss hey, that over. Hey, didn't like me good. exposing the, the virtue of our Lord and Savior Nickelback, so it kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> Got to use the fast hit. jets, my man. Um, hang couldn't on. Couldn't handle the Nickelback. Yeah, I'm gonna start over again, and let's go. Yeah, let's go ahead and redo the uh, rocket belt. Okay, so which one is? I gotta check the controls again. All right. Fast jets. Okay, that's what that is. Slow jets and there's fast jets. All right. Okay, Whoa. I am looking at the Shrek 2 soundtrack, and it is a pretty good soundtrack, to be honest. It is. Like, yeah. it's got Counting Crows, David Bowie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Jennifer Saunders. Fuck, yeah. I think of David Bowie. I thought Bowie, you said uh... Jennifer Hudson for a second. Why would I say Jennifer Hudson? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Jennifer Hudson. I would have. You have selective my hearing, right. there, Galaxy. <laughs> All I think about when I think of David Bowie nowadays is like him in Labyrinth with that '80s hair flowing. And not <laughs> oh, to mention yeah. that the the uh, the um, interesting outfit he wore in that. Movie. Uh, oh my God, he got made fun of so hard. Everyone was like, "What kind, uh, dude? Where where's the ferret that you're smuggling in your pants?" <laughs> <laughs> I am not complaining. <laughs> oh, there's an entire like joke go. set up about the fact that it's like, oh, he stuffed his pants. Yeah. Okay. What the yeah. fuck, dude? I would like to put this out there as one of the most what the fuck soundtracks. But oh, the missed. soundtrack to Over the Damn Edge. It. Because all the original songs were written by Ben Folds, which is such a fucking choice. Like... <laughs> Like, yeah, sure. Fucking Ben Folds, I guess. Uh, fuck, What dude. was that one movie with the, like, it's like some sort of Finding Nemo ripoff? Uh, Shark Tale? Uh, Shark Tale? Uh, yeah, that, that uh, had... That had mm. such a weird soundtrack, not gonna lie. Uh, the movie said was Toy just Story fucking garbage. Best... Somebody said Toy Story 2 has the be had the best soundtrack of all time. Uh... Okay, it has one of the best scores ever written. I'm just gonna say it. Like, the scores in that the score in that movie is so fucking good. Like, there's a reprise of one of the songs is used in Toy Story 2 in the beginning of Toy Story 4, like over the uh, over the Disney and Pixar logo, and it made me cry before the movie fucking started because that soundtrack fucking hit. Okay, and that movie. Oh, Toy Story 2 makes me sad, and also I just fuck that fuck the movie. It's so good. Toy Story 2 was good, I just... I didn't think Toy Story 4 was necessary after what you did with Toy Story yeah, 3. I'm, okay, I will fight people on this one because I believe Toy Story 4, like... As a... It's definitely more a Woody-centric movie, but it definitely feels like it's a necessary addition to his story. Like, I feel like that story... It deserves a conclusion like Toy Story 4 for, for Woody's character. Like, that to me... It doesn't feel like Toy Story 3's sequel, it feels like Toy Story 2's sequel. Like, it, that, that he's makes... no, long, no longer the f best uh, toy and he has to learn to live with that? And he has to learn, like, what... Because, like, the message of Toy Story 2 is, like, All that, right. you know, Andy can't be, a, you know, he can't be a kid forever, but he's not going to miss that experience of the world. Okay, what the fuck happens when he's, you know, on his own, when he loses Andy? And it 
it's a really, it's just an interesting exploration of that character, and such a fucking nerd about this movie, about these movies. Of course you are. Course. I fucking love Toy Story, okay? Like, I know. It's fine, it's I've fine. for how many years? My, that's, like, The Princess Bride is my favorite movie ever made, but it's a very close Princess Bride, first yes. With Toy Story oh, 2. Yeah. I've never seen The Princess Bride. What? Are you serious? What? <laughs> oh, wait, I'm supposed to go that way. I'm, I'm serious. I've never seen The Princess Bride. So, Riley, the, first, the next time, oh we, my God. time we hang out, we are watching that movie together. Riley? No <laughs> the wonder amount of, you're fucking blind. <laughs> the amount of meme material and jokes that came out of that movie. Oh, I know the memes and material and stuff like that. I've just never watched the film itself. But it's also oh. just... Fucking rad. Here he goes. It is. Here it's he a goes. great movie. Yeah. I, no more I, rhyming. I mean it. Oh! Anyone got a peanut? Oh! oh! Damn it. Does that count? Does that count? I hope no? so. It should count. He made it, even though his yeah, back's got broken. I got the oh, accuracy. No speed. The speed was just it shit. It I got 70. You, I'll, you know what? I'll take it. I'll accept that. Oh, 69. 69. Oh, no, it's, oh it's just by one point. Yeah. Uh, you needed one point of speed and we would have been fine. Uh, uh, somebody said Toy Story 2 is my favorite Pixar movie. Yeah, same. Holy shit. It's the fucking eyes same. again. I was gonna say, it's like, oh, somebody, I love you. <laughs> oh, whoa. You can still Retro Gamer Kevin, thank time. you for hosting. <laughs> Welcome to the game of Was That Accent a Bit Yikes? <laughs> you, can do, you can still do it, Senpai. <laughs> I think you have broken legs. Yeah, oof. Yeah, broke his Probably. ankle. Oh, the Super Mario Brothers movie is just... It's a movie that you know it's stupid. You know it's horrible, but it has its own charm to it. It's very fun. It's, like... it's, it's on the same level with Battlefield Earth. It's stupid. You know it's stupid. It's laughably stupid. Yeah, but Battlefield yeah. Earth is boring. <laughs> That's the difference yeah. between the two. Yeah, Battlefield Earth is boring. Really? You, you, you didn't yeah. find it funny when John Travolta was saying, while well, you were still learning how to spell your name. Spell your name. Yeah, and you're saying the movie is boring? It's it, it's an hour and a half movie, but it feels like three hours. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, it I can feel better. I can feel that. There there are a lot it of movies. It feels like, like six like, hours. Oh fuck! Oh, fuck! 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 Damn it! I just said it well, too fast. Damn it! Uh, and yes. Super Mario Brothers movie fucking sucks, but it did give us the revelation that Mario's canonical last name is Mario. Mario 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 Luigi Mario. And like that was such Nintendo a can, stupid idea. Nintendo can try to pretend that that's not canon, that that was just a terrible movie, but no, Nintendo, it's canon. His <laughs> name is Mario Mario Mario. Mario. <laughs> Makes you wonder how they're gonna handle that Mario, that Illumination Mario film. Uh, honestly, I like I would have preferred if Sony had the rights to that or some shit. I would have preferred. Then like, again, if Sony is a competitor with Nintendo, so scratch that. Yeah. Like it would have never happened, but I would have loved like if Phil Lord and Chris Miller got it, got it, got their hands on it. Like that would have been a fun. Yeah. I, I wouldn't see that happening with Nintendo. Sorry. Fuck Nintendo you. Nintendo wouldn't be. Lo it's very like not a Nintendo kind. Of Kind of property, yeah. especially because like they were pretty much thrown off of Solo for that same reason. Like the, it'd be the same reason. Like they would not be allowed to work on it. No, 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 no! God damn it! it. Or right. work for the for the rights holder for the property, which is understandable. Like it's your money. You don't want to fucking spend it on a risk. I get that, but like, damn. Well, I mean, with like, how globally like protective Nintendo is of their IPs and how they're viewed and stuff like that. I, I doubt they would let Chris, Phil Lord and Chris Miller handle it. Yeah. If I, but that'd be like my dream. Like if I could have anybody working on a, on a, an animated Mario movie. Yeah, I would want mm. Phil Lord and Chris Miller to to write it, just because I feel like that would be, like the Spider Verse kind of Phil Lord and Chris Miller, where it's funny but it's not you know, ha ha, oh. like that kind of Phil Lord and Chris Miller. Like have them write it but maybe not direct it because they're zero four eight. Well, I don't know what he's talking Oh, I think he's talking about the password. Oh, God, I just saw this in the chat, but some guy said, imagine Phil Lord and Chris Miller directing a Sonic film. Oh, God, Ooh. no. 
Oh, yeah. that sounds amazing. It would be too that good. Does... It would be too good. That's... We can't have that we... because we can't have nice things. This is oh. why I don't have. This is why I can't have nice things. Um, other re other weirdly like never would happen, but it'd be kind of funny. Um, Steven Spielberg. I feel like you could get something like if anybody could get a character out of Mario. I feel like that could be you know that could be a good direct to do that, you know, make an emotional film about a character who just says wahoo. Woohoo! <laughs> like, like... Yeah, that's what we're talking about, Azur. We're just kind of talking about, like, directors that we would love to see work on it. Um, yeah. Other one that would probably never happen, but damn, it'd be cool. Fucking getting, like, Pixar to work on it would be cool, but, you know, they would never oh. do that because... Oh, scoring is Nintendo more strict like, on the Yeah, we don't work way. with Disney on shit like this. Oh. Which is weird. Yeah. Like, oh. You would think that Disney would have been like, hey, you know, we've worked together on a couple things in the past, you know, we have a history, let us work on your movies. No. No, I, mean, I don't see it. It also, wouldn't happen, but... Also, Plague, um, helicopter level is 108048. Oh, he's giving me a password. See, anyone else love Inside Out besides... No, dude, Inside Out is easily one of my oh, favorite Pixar so movies. Good. Inside oh, yeah. Out, best Pixar movie. Period. I, it, like, besides... My... Uh, God. Besides, besides the Toy Story movies, besides, like, you know, certain certain movies, like Incredibles, etc. Inside Out, hands down, best movie. I would, like, outside of the franchise, like, Pixar movies, I'd say that, um the fucking Inside Out might be the best one. If only because a lot of the other ones that could qualify for best movie have already gotten sequels, prequels, etc. Like, you know, we have Incredibles 2 and we have Finding Dory. Like, those are both very good movies that yeah. might be better than Inside Out. I'd have to, like, watch both of them back to back. Ah, like, fuck. to really make an assessment on that one. But, like, yeah, we kind of gotten, like... Somebody saying Wally, like, yeah, Wally is also kind of in that discussion of like best. Yes. Oh movies. no 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 no! Man. Oh fuck! Inside, oh, it died. Wait, Inside. what about Rat? Rad... What about Ratatouille? Ratatouille is eh. eh. Ratatouille, eh. I really, I appreciate more a lot. I, I appreciate it a lot more, but it's a movie that I can't really go back to. Like, yeah. it's harder to go back to it. It's like, okay, yeah, sure, I'm watching Ratatouille. 